Hey guys, okay, as promised, I've got a really quick recipe video here that is simple, uh, simple enough to let your kids do this on their own. It's something that I actually have not done in a very long time with our kids, but they're really excited. They have absolutely no idea what we're having for supper, so I sent a couple of them outside really quick so I can get this started. So tonight, we are making nachos. Guys, how simple can that be? Okay, really easy. First thing you wanna do, get some chips. Okay, now you want something that's going to be really sturdy. A good corn chip is usually a good idea. I can't have corn, uh, so we actually went with ruffles. Something that you know works really good for dipping and for other things like that. It's gonna hold up a little bit better. Uh, these still get a little bit soft in the microwave. Something, uh, you could use Doritos or something if you want to. We also actually, not just the corn, but we avoid those because of the MSG, but that's a whole other topic. Anyhow, so start with your base. You're gonna want some cheese. We've got sharp cheddar and Colby Jack. Then we've got toppings. So I've got some crumbled bacon. I've got some salsa. I've got some sour cream. Um, I actually was looking for pepperonis, but turns out we had none left. You can literally do anything you want to. I thought about making up some taco meat to also put on top of these as well as some refried beans. You could truly do anything and everything you like on nachos. One of my kids just came in, so she got to hear what it is. Uh, <laughs> she's doing a little dance in the background now. Anyhow, super simple. So first thing you're gonna do, you wanna go ahead and get a nice pile on a plate. Now, I do not recommend microwaving, and by the way, we're microwaving these. I don't recommend microwaving plastic plates. I am gonna demonstrate this on a plastic plate because it is a very short time. Uh, we do about 30 second increments. And anyhow, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tilt the camera down so that you guys can see what all I'm putting on these. Okay, so you wanna get a nice little helping here of chips, but you don't want them piled too much. Spread them out so you can cover them with cheese and everything. Now, if you have access to a can of the nacho cheese that you're gonna get like a concession stand, you can get that at Sam's Club and stuff. It's good stuff, go ahead and do that. Uh, not something we have on hand, so this is what we're using. I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of sharp cheddar. A little bit more of that on here. And the Colby Jack. Now you only want to put your cheese and your meat uh, typically on before you melt it. Okay, don't pile the cheese too high either or you're not going to melt properly. Your salsa, you can put on before or after, that is up to you. The sour cream, you're gonna wanna wait until after you microwave it. So we're gonna sprinkle some of this crumbled bacon on here. About like that. Now I'm gonna microwave this for 30 seconds. Okay, here is 30 seconds. You can tell, nicely melted. Uh, started to sizzle because these chips are a little bit greasier. This does cook a little bit more. From here, uh, whatever you want, you can put sprinkle some salsa over it. Go ahead and put some sour cream over it. This is for a child who is not gonna want any of that. So this is going to be for my seven-year-old son. Now for my five-year-old daughter, she absolutely loves sour cream, so that's gonna go on hers. Uh, the three-year-old, his is gonna look exactly like this. Our older girls are gonna get to top their own, so if there's something else around the kitchen or around the house that they want, that's what they can put in. Okay guys, seriously, that simple. Those are nachos. Uh, this is something I ate randomly a lot growing up. And when our older kids were younger, we just haven't done it in a really long time. It's something I actually kind of forgot about. So, you know, times of necessity, that's how it works. So this is what's for the dinner tonight. Uh, let your kids watch this if you want to. Like I said, super simple. Otherwise, do it for them too. Let them think it's a really fun special night. Anyhow, I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. I'll see you in the next one.